Hello, this is a new video, and I will be looking at the region of Aya, the Fim Fisher line or the Fisher area, and the Garabunga Dome. Of course, here we have the outlines of Katla. Now, looking from the south, I'm going to add earthquakes. I haven't finished the whole data sets, I only have earthquakes since 2006. I will add more data in the coming days. So here are 2006 earthquakes. And here we see this horizontal stack, or plate of earthquakes actually. Now the reason why this shows is because these are the earthquakes that don't have corrected depth data, so this is automatic. Uh, depth at 1.1 kilometers. There probably wasn't enough you know, details for these quakes to determine their actual depth, so they appear this height, the default height at 1.1 kilometers. Now if we add 2007 data, now it's quite similar actually. Yeah, this is with 2007. Now we do see this is a Godabunga area, like uh, a line of quakes going towards 10 km depth here, where the Katla, you know, the lower chamber probably begins. If I have shown, uh, I have shown a video yesterday. Now this is kind of a stack in a way. Uh, not a perfect one, but you know, it resembles. Let's see this. If we add now 2008, now we have a bit more earthquakes. You can see some deep ones here in the Catla, and some more here appearing. And again, we see this line extending towards the Katla deeper chamber though it's hard to say actually you know, I have to add more earthquakes right now 2009 in 2009 you can already see that Aya had some more activity going on some in, in of course in the deeper levels as well and we do see this it's not really a stack but there is you know like a middle middle feed coming up here. This could be connected to the Galabunga area. The dome. The cryptodome actually. Looking from the south again. Now we're going to add 2010. Now this is a lot of data so it might lag a bit. Yeah, this is the 2010 data. Let's see something turning off. At 2010, yeah. Now, of course, we see that all the quakes <coughs> around the Aya volcano, including the deep ones. Now, the interesting thing about the, you know, the Aya stack is actually this ring of earthquakes. You can see it here, this one. See it here. Very nicely seen. Here's the ring. It's a ring of earthquakes, which is probably around a sill which was forming at that time. And we have this void in here. See it in this area, and you see the ring around it. And here, this is the actual vent going up to the Aya crater where the eruption happened. So this is probably magma going up from this sill, we speculate. We have this very big area of earthquakes here, which extend up. It came you know, slightly westward, slightly west from the Fim eruption, the Fisher eruption. 
looking at the Godabunga area and there are not a lot of quakes connecting Fim and you know, the dome, but there are some. So as it was suggested a few times, you know, the magma or lava erupting in Fim could be actually from you know, the Godabunga <coughs> area. Let's hope I'm pronouncing it right. If we go back to the beginning, these are all the quakes since 2006 to 2010. As I said, I'm going to add more quakes in the coming days. <coughs> At least back to, you know, 95, I think. But it takes some time. You can see this horizontal, you know, plates or stacks here and here. Which are probably quakes that don't have <coughs> well-defined depth. And again, looking from the side, we see the first stack, which is from Aya, the whole, f the whole feeder system actually, down to minus 30 kilometers depth. We have some here at Katla, and this middle zone, which actually, actually belongs to Godabunga. And as, what, as it was suggested a few times, this could actually be a separate feeder, a separate feeding system, or, you know, the whole system actually <laughs> unique in itself. <coughs> well, there are some possible connections here with a kettle lower chamber uh, that remains open for discussion. Now, the final thing that I'm going to show, I'm going to shut off all these quakes in 2006 to 2010, and I'm going to show all the quakes from 2011 till the present time. So we're going to say bye bye, Aya. And we're going to turn on all the earthquakes since 2011 to the present. And we have quite a different image actually. You can see the cattle had a much more stronger, <coughs> not stronger, but more uh, frequent activity in its depths. It was actually in the, probably in the feeding zone, or how do you call it? So yeah, Kata has definitely picked up deep activity. It's probably from, from probably very likely from intruding magma, new dikes forming up. And of course, as a point of interest, <coughs> the middle zone of Godabunga, if you look at it, you actually see again this vertical stack which belongs to it. So this could really be, you know, a separate system. It's interesting how the deeper quakes have actually increased in this Godabunga, I think, let's call it the Godabunga system. In numbers, you know, it's interesting. We still see some quakes in the vent of Aya. This probably due to the cooling magma. Uh, we turn on all the quakes. This is going to lag a bit. Okay, so these are now all the quakes since 2006 and until the present time. What is nice to see is you know, the air, the deeper <coughs> feeding system, and of course the recent, uh, the recently active or reactivated, you know, the Katla deeper system. You also have these quakes in the middle, <coughs> which probably don't belong to neither of these you know, deeper systems, and it could very well go up to the Godabunga area you know, as a system on its own. What is interesting to note is that Katla actually has this kind of tilted stacks, so it's hard to say which one goes to Katla and which one actually belongs to Godabunga. You see one here. This is this one. This is from the 1918 eruption site. Yes, this is this one. And this is from 1755. Now I have turned off the 2010 quakes because there are so many of them that the system kind of lacks as I'm recording at the same time. So as I have said, this tilted line can connect either to Katla or the Godabunga. 